Guys, we're gonna uh, do us a review on Core Mart. Um, so throughout my little trucking journey, I never went officially over the road. I did hot shots, uh, which is a small pickup truck with flatbed, and I also did uh, what one, two different food service companies. Um, I did Home City Ice. And then I found this Moffitt stuff, so that's what I like to do in the trucking industry, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Look, this one right there, beer distributor, that's beverage. So, my review on Cormark. So, working at Cormark, they had an $8,000 sign-on bonus. It's nothing like Cisco. Cisco, what they do is they make you hold that bonus for a couple years or you got to pay it back. They don't make you. They just will keep your check or something. I don't know. What Cormark does is your first check, you get half of it. Your next check, you get like a quarter of it. And then a couple months later, you get another piece of it. And then that's the whole $8,000. So they're pretty quick with the, the sign-on bonuses. Um, at least the area that I was in. I was a shuttle route driver, meaning they would bring it down to the location that I was at and then uh, once they brought it down to that location I would come in the morning and pick it up so anyways oh and uh, the pay was totally different than Cisco as well with core mark it's uh, convenience stores right and uh, basically it was convenience stores and like Rite Aids basically convenience stores and Rite Aids you don't got all food you got the cigarettes and the snacks that's the difference between so Cormark's the biggest one Cisco's the biggest one and I work for both of them uh, Cormark's the biggest convenience store deliverer Cisco is the biggest like food distributor I never worked for a beverage but um, so Cormark what they do is you get stock cube mile after your training um, before your training is up you get paid twenty two dollars an hour and you're with somebody who usually knows the route um, Oh shoot, I need gas. Y'all probably seen that I was like dang buddy need gas with that ten dollar gas an hour but um, so You get your paid stop cube mile. You get paid very well guys like a lot of times I got paid five hundred dollars for one route, but It was like a 16 hour route uh, core mark was at least the one up here was a little more on uh, it wasn't as it was so unorganized it was more unorganized than Cisco guys I didn't know you can get more organized. so they would always tell me to pick my truck up or not my trucks that kept the tractor where I was staying at at my house um, I would go to the drop yard in the tractor which is a pretty good deal right they allowed all this they let me do whatever with the tractor they were awesome um so and I would go to the drop yard which was like 10 minutes from my house pick my route up and go so they uh, I would I asked if I could start at 5 a.m. they said yeah for sure you know they did that one time after that usually the route the shuttle route didn't get to her till 7 7 38 a.m. and talking to the shuttle driver he said I don't know man our truck is this route here is always the last one loaded I'm like so that so it's the end of the night they're bringing probably one of the biggest routes down and um, oh driver um, so they would bring they would shuttle the biggest route down super late and you're already there sitting there waiting for a few hours what they would say is oh you know go get breakfast y'all to y'all to know nobody wants to do that I already ate breakfast I want to get to work and get started and every once in a while even once a week isn't bad you, I get it um, I definitely get it man I definitely get it uh, but once, you know, it, it, it isn't bad, you know, but every single day you're starting three hours late. So then you're not getting home, you know, until eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. And you're a local driver. You would expect, you know, to at least not work over your gut, bud. To at least not work over your, uh, your legal hours. If you're... I was trying to let him go, but he's going slow. Um, so every day end up being, I was, I was going over the clock, my ELD's beeping. 
um, great money, but again, that's just another one that's just gonna run you super duper hard. I didn't have a day less than a thousand cases with them, and I was that it was a 28 foot trailer. So they would literally stack these things with the totes from top to bottom, and you would be up there grabbing them, trying to rip them out, damaging the totes, damaging product. It was it was a mess. It was a mess, and when I told the uh, supervisor, I was like, you guys took me from a mess and brought me to a more mess. Like, you promised so much, and I have the emails right now, man, because we were, we used to email, we used to text all the day, but I would email early in the morning and late at night. He was like, I'm so sorry about the mess, man. You might as well just take the rest of your sign-on bonus, and if you quit, and you might as well just wait till next week. He even told me to plan. He was like, I was like, yeah, I found something else. He said, wait till next week, man, get that sign-on bonus and head out, bro. He said, it's not getting no better right now. We're trying different techniques, but without the proper employees trying as well, and no one else caring, then it's, it's rough for him as well. So, that's pretty much why I left Coromark. The super late routes while I'm already at a drop yard starting later than everyone else they would come hours late in my ELD I would literally run a route so long every single day my ELD will start beeping and being a red you make great money man oh another thing is a lot of times if you don't count your cases and everything they will put extra product in that van and just label it without a scan uh, y'all know the RFID scan thing you use with your scanner and stuff while you're doing food service it wouldn't even have that it would just have a name and where they wanted what store they wanted to go to so you would get cheated in cases and I would have no one to talk to because I was a shuttle driver the only one down in the area at the time so that's then uh, we got a contract down in South Carolina now so we moved down in there we came back up here to get our kids and get our family and we got that all getting started and and all that down there so but that's that's my review for core mark please stay tuned for more reviews so i worked at a few different big companies before you know starting my own thing and and getting into uh you know uh the flatbed uh local drops for local big companies so that's my review for core mark um benefits let's see uh, they had good benefits. Not near. No one had benefits better than Cisco. No food service place has benefits better than Cisco. I'll tell you that right now. Um, on my way out, um, I also had talked to GFS. Now GFS, I will say Gordon Food Service is probably the number one food service to go with for a driver because they're big, but they're not super big. They're still family owned, and they still help you. They got the nicest equipment I've ever seen. Um, and they do a lot for you. We're going to do a review on GFS um, here soon. I haven't worked there, but I have a buddy who has worked there. And the things, like, it, it's great. So we're going to do one for GFS next. Um, but yeah, Cormark, uh, good company. They have good, you know, uh, ideas, good equipment, good benefits, good pay, horrible routing horrible management and I guess horrible employees because that's all the management will blame it on is the employees not caring and stuffing the trucks I, I'm like you guys have, know how much is going on that truck so how is it the employees fault that they had to stuff it that you guys made them stuff that truck so tight that I have to rip and break the totes to get stuff out and then you're and then you're breaking uh, you know boxes of cigarettes and stuff you gotta rip those up. You, you literally rip them down and open up the box because it was so tight to the top of the trailer that you couldn't do nothing. So it, it was that was rough. That was rough. Maybe it got better since, but all right, I'm out for now, guys. Um, about to go pick our family up, got to eat and all that. Spend some of this little bonus money, and uh, we will be back, baby. Peace. Thanks for watching.